In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run a webinar in Microsoft Teams. This is already included in your Teams license. We're going to go through how you can create a custom registration page, view all of the registrations, the attendance stats and records in there, and some of the really cool presentation features available to you as a presenter in Teams. Then I'm going to show you how we can connect that up to Dynamics 365 Marketing so that you can follow up with your participants and nurture them after your webinar. You'll find Teams webinars in exactly the same place you normally go to schedule a meeting, but instead you're just going to choose this webinar option. You'll see you've got some choices in here about whether you want to request responses, allow the meeting to be forwarded to other people, and whether you want to use the registration capability for everyone, nobody, or just people in your organization. Add your title in. You can also add in your presenters so that sends it out to them, puts it in their calendar, and obviously the time, date, and duration for your webinar. Now we've got a built-in registration form here which includes the ability to customize it and this is what you can send out to people in order to allow them to register. So this is going to come up again we've got the event name and the details and the time. We can upload an image simply from your desktop or wherever you're storing your images and then we've got the first name last name and email fields bunch of other fields there ready for you to add, or you can create a custom field for input and choice. So my webinar here is about health and well-being. I'm going to ask them which thing they're most interested in. I can also add speaker details and speaker bio in there, save it and done. I'm going to copy that registration link and then we're good to start getting that out to people. So last thing here, send the webinar and off it goes into the calendar. And you can see there that little icon shows you that it is a webinar as opposed to a normal Teams meeting. So let's now see what that's like from the experience of someone who registers. Molly goes ahead, puts in her details, makes her selection there. And within a short amount of time, she's gonna receive a confirmation email. So that's what this looks like. Quick and easy link to join and also the capability in there to add to her calendar. This works just the same on other email clients. Here it is on Gmail, just to show you something outside the Microsoft ecosystem, we get the same kind of experience. Now you'll see there's also a cancel registration option. So that means that people can actually go ahead and self-serve on canceling and same experience, they will get an email confirming their cancellation. All right, now we go back into our Teams webinar and let's have a look at this attendance tab. As people are registering, we're starting to get those attendees listed in here. So we can see how many people have viewed the page, registered, there's the one who's canceled, and we've got the first name, last name, email address, and registration status and time, including the custom answers to those questions all sitting in there. Time for our webinar, it's going live, join, here we go. <laughs> now the thing is, if you're familiar with using Teams meetings, you have now got all the same things available to you that are familiar to you in Teams meetings. So nice lack of learning curve here. Check out my video for how to use that PowerPoint Live feature. There are also some other things in here where you can put yourself in front of your presentation or off to the side of your presentation. So lots of great tools in Teams for presenters to make you look really professional. All right, when we come back in after the event, we now see we've got registration and attendance and we can just download those. Attendance after the event will give you something like this that shows you who joined, the date and time. If someone actually sort of like loses their connection and joins back in, which Edna did in this case, it still just shows the main start and finish time. It doesn't kind of repeat that, you know, join, leave kind of thing. And then back in our attendance tab here, we see the full details here as well. So we've got all of those same things visible inside Teams, who joined when and what they uh, what they did in the overall stats of everything. Now, follow up with participants is where we can connect to Dynamics 365 Marketing. We might wanna send some follow up emails. This is gonna prompt you to sign in or sign up if you don't already have Dynamics 365 Marketing and get started. Now this builds a heap of stuff for you, a heap of templates and things ready to go. So it's setting up a customer journey, which is the thing we're gonna to use to send out the emails. It's creating all those contacts in there. It's creating segments to work out who attended, who registered and didn't attend, who canceled, and it's creating email templates for us as well, which we can go ahead and personalize and customize for that event.
This takes maybe two or three minutes and <laughs> really gives you a huge amount of stuff. Now I'm going to take you through the basic aspects of what this is doing in marketing, but do check out my longer tutorial video on Dynamics 365 Marketing if this is new to you, because there's actually quite a lot here and this is the whirlwind tour. So what we've got here is a customer journey and it's created these segments, which is what we see on the left. And you can see we've got, you know, the person is a member of the segment, registers, registrants who um, did not attend and so on. Let's go in and, and have a look at one of those so we can see what it is. This is constructed it all for you. It's got six members in there and I can click on the members tab and see who those people are. You'll recognize some of those names from the people who attended. So you don't actually have to know how to construct those segments, but that's what it's doing for you. It's also constructed three marketing emails. Now these are very generic. You want to go in and, you know, put something in that's relevant to your own event. You'll see it's got the title of the webinar already in there, but we want to go and put in some of the bits of information that we covered in the webinar. You'll see there's some personalization in there. Hey, contact first name. Thanks for attending. So each of these emails, ones are thanks for attending, ones are sorry you couldn't make it and so on. But you just need to go in and get rid of that sample one, sample two, and also replace the image. So we can choose to upload an image to the library, very similar to what we just did before. Choose that same image so we're consistent with our uh, branding and presentation. Done and pop that in. All right, looking good now, <laughs> starting to get some consistent branding. There's a bunch of other things you can do if you want to add more buttons and texts and, um, you know, various other things to your email. Again, check out uh, check out the bigger tutorials to uh, deeper dive into that stuff. We save and then the last step we need to do is to go live, which makes that email ready to go. So it sits in that draft state until you've done that. You need to repeat that through all three of those emails and then we make the journey go live. Now, this is the button that sends it out. So once you press that button, it's going out into the world. It's also created contacts in your Dynamics database here. So we can have a look at one of those uh, contacts that came. We click on this insights tab and we've got a history here that he registered for the event. He checked in, um, he received and opened that email and some charts and stats. And over time, the more you work with people, these insights build out. It also creates an event. We've got full event planning inside Dynamics Marketing. So what we see here, it's created that event. It's logged the registration and attendance for us just straight out of Teams, pushing it through. So we can see here we've got the registration responses. Those are those custom registrations we have and the check ins, which are the people who attended. Other people are listed in there as having registered, uh, but not listed in the attendance. So a lot going on here and that's a whirlwind tour of it. Essentially, you can use Teams, push it through to Dynamics Marketing and start to really use all of those features for sending out automated journeys and emails and so on. Very rich capabilities in there and all completely built in. So go ahead and get started with Teams webinars. You can use it without the marketing component if that's all you need. Plenty there to help you get started. Thanks for watching.